want to take you to the gridiron now because change is coming for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this after an impressive run in the playoffs. Offensive coordinator Dave Canales will be the next head coach of the Carolina Panthers. Let's bring in 10 Tampa Bay sports director Evan Klosky and Evan he was only here for a year, but he did have a big impact on the Bucks organization. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Courtney. He was a high-energy guy, great communicator, brought a lot of good vibes into the building. And on top of that, he also transformed a sluggish offense into a unit that was able to resurrect Baker Mayfield's career. Canales has a tremendous story of perseverance, was passed over multiple times in Seattle after spending 12 years with the Seahawks. The Buccaneers took a shot on him as a first-year play caller, and he did not disappoint. Tampa Bay improved in points per game and rushing yards per game. On top of that, the offense improved mightily in the second half of the season, winning six of its last eight games, including explosive performances against the Eagles and Lions in the playoffs. It's not that the Buccaneers' offensive numbers wow you on paper. It's more so the foundation of the team it looked great heading into next season and now the team will have its third coordinator in as many years that part right there and the fans of course taking another hit with this situation following the loss there's this loss how should fans look at this yeah it's disheartening I mean you can't blame the guy for taking a head coaching right. gig they don't come around often but there are a lot of questions to answer now first does the organization still trust Baker Mayfield enough without Canales to give him a sizable contract second do you promote within the organization and go with someone who has never called plays before or do you bring in someone externally uh, finally, how much does the lack of continuity hurt the upward trajectory of this squad? There's a lot to figure out here. There is a lot to figure out. And do the Bucks get any kind of compensation mm -hmm. for Canales leaving and heading to the yes. divisional foe? Right? He's not going just to, leaving. Going to the enemy. Uh, you know, usually you do get compensation, but not in this instance. Canales right. would have needed to be on staff for two years for Tampa Bay to receive two compensatory third-round picks because he was only here for one year. The Bucks get nada at 6 o'clock oh. in sports. I gave you some names you need to know for the upcoming coordinator search from Todd Bowles. All right, Evan.